share it. Hello, beautiful replayers. If you are on replayers, the replayers, <laughs> or the replayers, <laughs> or the players, spiritual, the spiritual badasses, gangsters. Oh, there we are. There we are. I see us. Hello. Please say hi when you're jumping on. Hello, beautiful ladies and amazing men as you join us. Please say hello. I'm so excited to be here. My beautiful bestie, Jax. We are going to really, really be delivering you some fire tonight. Like some beautiful, loving, I guess, like inspiration and in sisterhood and guidance in in life really hey mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah so say hello tell us where you're from i'm just sharing into the other networks perfect so, hey beautiful yes. someone from england amazing yeah drop in tell us hey sarah how are you beautiful as you're jumping on guys tell us what's alive for you right now what's alive how are you mm -hmm. 22, 25. <laughs> Come on in. 30. Yes. Yes. 31. 31. <laughs> <Yeah>, 30. 30. <laughs> yes, Gold Coast, amazing day. Wow, wow, amazing Gold Coast. Sarah, nice to see UK. you from the UK. What time is it? What time is it in the UK right now? It's like 8 a.m., 10, 8 to 10. I don't know. So, mm, yeah, where are you guys like from? We're going to be diving in. We're going to do some guidance. We're going to share a bit of our journey mm. um, in, in how we've created what we have in our lives and our, in our relationship and all the pieces. Charlie, my name is like, oh. Sending light. We mm. are sending light right now, sister word. Is oh, God, sorry. Rebecca. Rebecca, sending light to you, Rebecca. Mm. Oh, so good. I'm just like basking in the energy of who is on this uh, live with us tonight and also truly knowing that there are no accidents in anything and everything is divine. So welcome to the, uh, it's actually your show usually, isn't it? Mm. And so we've decided to join forces and um, I, my name is Jax and uh, I usually have a, a show here on a Monday morning. It's just a different time. I'm a different time <laughs> and um, I'm particularly very called to uh, channeling, light language and uh, activation. So I'm a sound activator and uh, Emma is my best friend. <laughs> And she is just um, epic. She is she's Emma. <laughs> yeah. She, who was that? She was Emma. <laughs> she's Emma, who is all and everything. And and for those who actually has experienced Emma before, can you actually let us know if you've experienced Emma, her magic, and um, her medicine? She's super gifted, super connected, and it's always a pleasure to witness Emma and her magic. I'm always just like. I've got love heart eyes. Me time. too with you. Every time I like... see you, I'm, like, I'm actually looking at Emma as I speak right now on the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like looking at you. <laughs> Me too with you. Um, so, and, and we're here tonight as representations of New Earth Sisterhood. Mm. Representations of sisterhood, uh, but also sisterhood in facilitation, sisterhood in impact, sisterhood in, in really like... all authentically and integrally making massive shifts together uh, for fellow sisters for for the planet really and um, I just want to see what just happened just then because I don't want to uh, see oh, sending you love Sharon mm. oh that hurts my heart to, to read that I'm really sorry we're really sorry for thank you for, for sharing loss. that with us yeah Thank you. Thank you for being here with us. Mm. You know, I guess my intention for you would be that you just get to bask in, you know, a feeling of love, a feeling of sisterhood, a feeling of, um, yeah, being held in this space. If you desire to join us for, for tonight, we can't say it's necessarily going to be straight about that experience, but just know that our frequencies are holding you. We love you, sister. And... You know, I could only imagine that experience. I couldn't mm, imagine that experience. Just... However, you know, like, thank you for being here. You're really appreciated. Mm. Whew. Mm. 
Beautiful. And I love how we actually witnessing all the comments and there's so many beautiful people who are also sending you love. So Sharon, know that you're loved and mm. you're so held right now. So, so mm. held. Mm. Um, so tonight we were like, we love doing readings. So if you're on and you stay tuned, um, I dare say that we will do some readings. Um, but just to give you an idea of who we are, um, we're not just like jumping on and saying that we can do readings. We, this is actually what we do. This is our, this is our service. And um, it's not a service we chose, it, it chose us. <laughs> it just chose us and this is what we do in, in uh, among other things. And tonight we really wanna speak to, um, to into collaboration and, and a collaboration in all, in all forms. Did you just burp? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that like, I don't even think about burp these days. about Jax and I and what we're really profound profoundly passionate about is new earth and in new earth what we what I truly believe is we're being called to truly like surrender all parts of manipulation all parts of separation all parts of distrust because we're being shown all the pieces of our experience that have actually been um, um, I guess manipulating us right manipulating yeah, manipulating us into thinking we're separate manipulating us into feeling like we can't trust another like all these experiences are past this life and past lives right it's coming up right now and why we truly believe because of the magic we've experienced together in co-creation and collaboration that you know we're creating a new earth by actually being at one with earth therefore being together mm. you know and what magic can we create in that way knowing that every single person in this world, like Jax is genius, so different to mine. We are like, we're one and we're the complete polarities in so many ways, yeah. you know? In the yeah. way we channel, in the way that we actually work on a 3D level in the tangible pieces. And you know, experiencing this and experiencing even the people that I've collaborated with, we're meant to be with others, you know? So that's something that's really deeply on our hearts, isn't mm -hmm. it? Like, yeah. Like what we've experienced collaborating together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. In our best friendship, you know, like. And how expansive it is and how expansive it's been. And coming from someone who's like such a lone wolf, I've, I, have, I have lived the lone wolf blueprint. And the lone wolf blueprint, guys, and let me know if you actually recognize this blueprint in your present moment or in your past. But the lone wolf blueprint is doing everything on your own only because you think you have to do everything on your own because either you don't trust anyone to actually do what you can do or actually uh, lay down the, the um, foundations of the vision that you have as you can or even part of the blueprint is not actually asking for help because you don't believe you're worthy of it or you're afraid to ask for help because you're afraid of rejection. Is that what your experience was? Yeah, yeah. I, I, my lone wolf blueprint has literally been because I never thought I could ask for help because I didn't think anyone would be willing to help me if there wasn't a, 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 like a material exchange. Mm. right who who ha is like who's ever felt like that I can't ask for help because I don't have anything to give them in return mm. I don't have anything to give them in return so therefore we don't ask for help and therefore try and do things on our own and therefore end up in exhaustion and therefore hit ceilings and therefore feel like that we're consistently always on struggle street in trying to bring an idea to life mm. and feeling like we have to be all the geniuses and then all of a sudden you know in all the different parts of ourselves not listening to our aura not listening to our energy type not listening to our spirit not listening to our own genius not listening to our desires our ease our flow our grace mm -hmm. you know and I believe that you know these pieces that keep us separate are actually the pieces that are keeping us from flow you know because they're not allowing us to be supported by the other by the yeah. collective by our sisterhood you guys yeah. like yeah sisters are my my relationship with my sisters goes beyond anything i've ever experienced mm. when you can truly you know lean into the pieces it's mm. and it's so much more than just a friendship like it's actually like profound it's mm. it's it's like a full anchor to to you know with Jax and i we've even said like Honestly, I'd put my life on the line for Jax. Like, we're literally that close, you and know? she'd even burp in my ear. All the time, if she wanted, <laughs> you know? Like, I'd do it in her mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I 
I would receive it. <laughs> well, go on, go on. <laughs> but you this know? is what we this is yeah. what we get to be. We also get to be real, right? And we actually was it the other day, like honestly, we really are just so real and, and we could just be sitting in the living room and talk about all things and, <laughs> and like even one alien time we, like, alien. Like there was another time we literally were just like jumped off a call and we were um, pretending to be beetle like things in the living room. Like you remember <laughs> <laughs> we're not beetles, but like we're like oh, a thunder. Yeah, yeah, receiving, <laughs> receiving beetles. Yeah, but it looks like a beetle. <laughs> so guys, what we're trying to show you so far is just like our transmission is like what could life be like with, with uh, we want to lead the way of what actually is possible in sisterhood in every way. You know, we do business together. We actually do business together, full business together and full trust, you know, complete, complete trust. And it's so interesting, like in my past, I don't, I don't even know what my piece was that caused the separation, to be honest, because I feel like it was just a no. Like I really just didn't, um, there was just nothing. I had no ability to be able to fully trust. But I think there were so many layers to it that it was even like not even knowing how to navigate that, not even knowing how to trust it. Like every time I would think of like tribe, even still it comes up for me. Like if there's a big community and there's a big like place, um, I think there's a lot to do also with, with my energy type because I'm so sensitive to energy. So I get like, <gasps> you know, because I'm going to feel a lot. But I think a lot's to do with like, it's a huge edge to lean into, you know, when you when you really want to open your heart and, and uh, feel like you belong in community and feel like you belong in spaces and feel like you can fully let your heart open. Um, and yeah, for my journey, I actually don't know what what my piece was but it changed with all the all of my wounding that I would lean into mm. you know I knew that there was something there because I just was not I was scared I was scared to trust my sisters I was scared to like you know be close with them I would sabotage in so many ways by just not allowing myself to get close I just had this story that yeah you know I was I was just like I had my distance, I had my space, and I had this level that I would allow mm. a woman or a man to come into, and there were different levels, but that was just it, you know? Um, whereas now, I feel like there's like a zero, no wall. And, and the de is a choice. Like, I, mm. I just noticed a, a comment before, I can't remember who it was, I'm sorry, just these, these comments go really quickly. Yeah. But the comment was, um, I wish I had like people close to me like you. But I just want to let you know that most of my most um, in, uh, closest relationships are with people I haven't yet met. Mm. And they, some of them are online. And that's mm. because I choose, I choose to lean into all connection, mm. right? Because we have a choice in any given moment to choose to lean into the connection or to retract from connection because of fear. And so really determining what you desire. If you desire to feel connected, we have to choose to feel the connection, to, to feel, to connect, to be really intentional with that. And it's, it's important to determine the intention of what you desire. And, and what's really coming up now, which is really real, so for all of us, there is no actual denying of it is the need and this is a collective need for all of us to connect deeply mm. to connect deeply success whatever that is for you fulfillment is going to be is going to be ah uh, sorry Di, i really want to respect you but where you know we are tuning into the comments and we will come into the comments so after then tune into some of your women Oh, and support them, please. Many calling out to you right now. Oh, bless you. Yeah, sending yeah, you so much. So love, much. Guys, yeah, we like, will. We will. Change there's no much. intention. There's no. There's not. No yeah. intention that is out of alignment in our hearts and souls. We get to actually express, and we actually get to be to, what we're here to be. Yeah, <laughs> like there's no. I don't. I don't. I actually don't. I don't. I will not welcome the the even the um the suggestion that we're not being that we're not being love like not giving attention i just i don't think that's actually necessary so thank you we love you and we're going to continue and so um also so with that said again 
where, where was that separation that just happened, right? Like there, already there was a story created that we're not giving attention where and there's... where's the disempowerment of feeling like someone can't speak their truth without mm. them straight away being saved? Serve right? me. Like, Serve me first right. before you speak your truth. Now, I'm going to actually speak into this. I've, I've made an intention. Yeah, because I felt I've been, that. I was just like, mm, no. I've really been really intentional with, not, with actually um, dissolving martyrdom for me. Yeah, so <laughs> martyrdom for me is actually me probably six months ago would have easily just turned and gone, oh my God, you're right, I'm so sorry. Yeah, which takes away from my sovereignty. I, 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 I don't think that's actually necessary. I feel like we get to love and we get to expand on love and we get to build, still be and hold space for each other. Mm. So as much as that you're asking us to hold space for you, I powerfully request that you hold space for us Mm. And and you hold space for everyone, and we we get to empower each other, guys. Like we're all like just like Jackson and I, we're facilitators, and we're facilitators of empowerment. So therefore, we're here. We show up every single day, being of service, right? But how can we actually empower another to serve? Not not put the pressure on another to serve. Empower another to serve. Mm. I'm not a stand for the savior. I'm not a stand for disempowerment. I'm not a stand for manipulation mm. or separation, you know? And this is what we actually get to be a stand for because guys, like we all, we are all whole. We are all fucking whole. We are all so fucking whole, so love. Yeah, we are, we, are, we all. So how can we actually, like, I believe this is more service than anything. It's like everyone is whole. Everyone is welcome here. Everyone is sovereign. And now we get to have this conversation and meet each other in this beautiful space of empowered love where you get to receive my beautiful best friend and I sharing with you how fucking powerful you are. That to me is serving. That to me is giving. Mm. That to me is being the transmission that we're here to be. Not feeling like I need to find, you know, where, what's broken and how to fix it. <laughs> Caroline, yeah. Yeah. Love you, love you, love you, love you. So yeah, so, that... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that feels good. That feels yeah. good. That feels good. So, um, yeah, so... <laughs> yeah, you guys like seeing in real time how we deal with like what, what yeah, comes up. Yeah, and, and this is a thing, right? And um, and this is what we're calling forward. This is actually a, this yeah, is the perfect, perfect example of what's coming up for everyone. And this is the perfect example for you right now in any given moment to actually see mm. what is actually alive for you and what is taking your power away yeah. and where you get to choose where your power goes and know that your sovereign choice is more empowering than anything, mm. that anything that anyone can do. Exactly. Is that your sovereign choice given that it is from a space of absolute love, if, even though it triggers someone else, you get to. You mm. get to be in your sovereignty and it, people get to be triggered because in that triggering is the, the option and the opportunity to call them forward to therefore also choose love and choose their power mm. without, it being a, a, without it being a fight, without having to have disagreements. It's actually being able to go, mm. yo, I respect you. Mm. I love you and I love you in your truth I'm in my truth and you get to be in your truth and guess what we still get to be together we still get to actually do things in the world and we still get to you know yeah. so and I think like the more you embody like die I even received your coming again you felt that like you mm. said love what you do I love you, you know I, I love feel you like, so much die, I feel truly. like the more work that we do individually right the more permission we have from others to see from an embodied loving space you know that no, you can speak your authentic truth in every single moment. I believe that's leadership. Like mm -hmm. the ability to be able to embody, come from love by leaning into the disconnect and the separation and all the pieces that have kept us, you know, not feeling empowered in ourselves. So that when we actually do speak like into things that could trigger some, people actually receive love and they feel empowered mm -hmm. and they and they do that. But I believe... You know, it's it's a real. It takes a lot of courage, you know, to speak your straightaway truth in every moment, but fully trust that because you know you're coming from love, people receive it and they do. But how much does that keep people from actually being their truth? Because we fear the outcome of what what that's going to be. But then, what connections do we have? You know, Jack. We, that this goes into like even when we first started connecting. You know, like we triggered the shit out of each other. Like, and there was this weird vibe. It was it was unspoken trigger. It was just yeah. like. There was just there was a resistance. There. there was a resistance. 
Mm -hmm. And we couldn't speak it. I couldn't even speak it because it wasn't an intentional resistance. We were trying to find it. I there think. was nothing that I was just like, I, I can't stand Emma because because none of that existed. <laughs> it was actually energetic. Why can't I stand Emma? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me why. <laughs> but at the same time, it wasn't actually, it was just, it was there, but it was no, there was no energy. Like there was all energy. There was no like words to it. Mm -hmm. But again, what does that mean? It means that what is alive in her that triggers me is alive in me that lets that trigger that lets the trigger exist i think mm -hmm. i just did something that was really weird just then it was like but you know so <laughs> i was so, like so basically what did that mean for me mm -hmm. what does it mean when you are triggered well first and foremost when you are triggered it's not anyone else's fault when you feel a discomfort in your body because of someone and you don't really know why and even if you think you know why it's not their fault we always have the opportune moment to lean into the great the greatest version of ourselves so what is the greatest version of yourself is the greatest of your version of yourself forgiving compassionate loving what is the grandest vision for yourself is the grandest vision of yourself a CEO of an organization, someone who speaks on stage, a fantastic parent? What does fantastic parenting feel like to you? Is a fantastic parent a reactive or responsive? Is it, you know, whatever that is, that greater vision for you is, every trigger is always an opportune moment that is calling you forward to the greater vision of you, not asking you to, to retract, but you always have that option too. The option to retract from a trigger so for me I've got an example actually so um, usually triggers are because we've we've created stories in our head right we're really great like an emotion comes up that's like this this unknown space of some sort this expression from another and then mm -hmm. all of a sudden it's like that feeling comes into like story or mm -hmm. identity mm -hmm. yeah fully and I, the story I had a story I actually had a story around Emma not responding to me in a message I remember Did you that, remember yeah. that? Yeah. so a couple of months ago maybe like I don't know 10 months ago I had messaged Emma right and this is I want this is going to be resonating for everybody so stay <laughs> tuned with this this is the start of our friendship guys. this story like this, this yeah it was this birthing was us a stand, into what we have yeah. a stand for sisterhood okay and it was uncomfortable as right so I I was messaging Emma and and it took Emma ages to respond right it took Emma ages to respond who else is that I've seen she's seen the message and I every day I kept getting triggered but what I know is that that's not her fault. That's not her fault. Mm. That's, that's, I started to create a story and the underlying story was that I'm not good enough for your attention. Mm. Yeah? I created a story that I'm not good enough for your attention. But instead of acting out that story as if it was true, I called it forward. I messaged mm. her. It's like, yo, I've got a story off running in my head right now. And I shared it with her. I said, this is, is, this is what I feel and this is my stand. I've got to stand for sisterhood and this is what I'm mm. feeling, mm. the story. Mm. And Emma was able to just go, oh my God, like in her truth, like, mm. oh my Remember God. It was like, it also gave me an opportunity to be like, oh, well, my thing is like, I have like stuff that comes up that enables me to actually be close with sisters. Remember? Mm. Mm -hmm. Remember I said, so yeah. my polarity is mm. like distance. It was that week. So, yeah. yeah. So it's so beautiful. Imagine if, how, imagine how many sisters you guys would have if you actually had these conversations and opened that. Because it gave, she gave me permission to actually share a deeper vulnerability with me around what I was experiencing. Because it's way deeper, right? Sisterhood isn't just like right oh, hi, let's go get our nails It's like done. ride or die. Yeah. It's like you know, we wear all all the hats together, every single hat, you know. And I believe this is available to all of us. And you know, it, it's it's just like a relationship, Ryan and I, it's like, we're always the polarity. Ryan's the one that's, you know, he's always been like trying to get in and and she's and I've been the opposite, all in and then trying to like create space. I feel like we're the, we're the same when we were like coming into union, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's so interesting. And, you know, guys, people, the other thing they seek usually is soulmates, but what if we seek sisterhood? Like as well, what if we seek like brotherhood? What if we seek this kind of relationship? It's just everything, you know. So we're we're 
I would love for you guys to comment if you've got a sister who would like this. Do you have a sister that you truly believe that? I always say sister, like friends, best mm. friends, girlfriends, even your cousins. Mm. Relationships. What kind of relationships are you cultivating? Mm. And Do what you feel like you can actually fully like let your body relax in their presence in every way? With trust, with like, you know, if something happened where they have your back. Like you have these people in your reality. Because it's and that's why I've only noticed since I've had it, you know. I've only noticed being possible since actually experiencing it. I didn't know prior and I wouldn't have known prior, you know? And we just we want to set a new standard standard for, for sisters. And the, the events that we host, we actually take women through the experience of actually being able to realize how potent the feminine is in an embodied level, in a body of witnessing each other, in expression and in, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, totally. And surrender. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I've had to learn coming from the, the Lone Wolf mm -hmm. Blueprint, so I know that a, a lot of us are operating in that blueprint, either now or in the past. What, what, how, okay, so the question is now, how do you get from Lone Wolf Blueprint to people, to individuals in our creative spaces, Emma doing her thing, Jack's doing her thing, and two individual women, then d then making that powerful decision to actually come into union and, and, and dive, because we have standards in our relationships, right? Uh, if, if a relationship- Conditions. Conditions, yes. Yeah, like, if there's, a, if I have any, there are no relationships in my life that aren't deeply, deeply connected, that I feel sa deeply safe in and trusting in, and I, I have conditions around who I am for others as well, which is deep, deeply trusted, you yeah. know? I have such sovereign relationships and that is the standard. And I don't hang out with anyone that is, that is not that. So really coming into a deeper sisterhood with somebody being such a lone wolf template, coming from a lone wolf template, has been, it has been the journey of surrendering. The journey of trusting each other, trusting that Emma actually knows what she's doing, trusting that her genius is actually in, incredible and probably better than mine because my genius is so, so different and we actually both get to be geniuses mm. together. And it does. It takes the trust, doesn't it? Because it's we're so not much the same. trust. It's like, so much Jax trust. Jax is like, so in our event, she's very much like the tangibles, right? And that's been a piece that I've done, but I know that's her actual genius, the pieces that she does. And they're pieces that I've done when I've lone wolf. So it's like, it's really interesting to find that indifference in myself and be like, oh no, 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 this is like actually a genius. But the courage that it's taken me to fully be like, yup, yup, yup. And even when I've wanted to retract and be like, you know, oh, or something's tried to cut, it's like, yup, yup. And then each time it's allowed me to actually receive myself and Jax, mm -hmm. you know, and then fully trust what's actually come through and mm -hmm. birth, which mm -hmm. has been profound. Mm -hmm. And same with Jax, I'm sure, because she's yeah. not me, the things that I've been like, mm, she's been like, all right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's what we get, that's, how, that's what it takes. Yeah, because I've been, like, in my journey, I'm, I'm the sole decision maker in my enterprises. And with I'm, me, the I'm like, sole the sole like, decision maker. <laughs> so for me, when I think it's a big fat yes, and then <laughs> and then having to be faced with a, I, I don't think it's gonna fit, I have to surrender mm. and respect that, okay, I get to pivot. Mm. I get to actually take this opportunity and pivot mm. and not take it to heart. And not mm. take it, because this is what we, too, too often this is what we do in partnership, partnerships, yeah? Is that if someone disagrees with what we want to do, we take it to heart and take mm. it personally, which mm. then therefore creates the resistance and, and separation. And separate too many, too many um, falling outs in mm. relationships because there's been that that real heavy disagreement. But then it's like we take it too personally. Mm. So this is such an important message for moving forward. And for those of you, thank you, those for you that are tuning in and staying on, this message is for you. It's not for anyone else. Mm. It's for you. That moving forward is wherever that in your life right now. Because in 2021, it, you, if we think that we we're smooth sailing, we're not. Mm. Whatever we experience in 2020 is going to happen again tenfold in 2021. 2021 is in fact a year of like deep, diving foundations 2022 is going to be the year of harvesting so this message is for so is for everybody to take heed 
take heed in this message and, and asking yourself, what is, what is it that is missing in this present moment right now for me to go into 2021? And so to cultivate what I'm ready to harvest in, in 2022. You can check what out am I any... Gonna lean into? What am I going to lean into? And for all of us, it's collaboration. Mm. For all of us, it is tribe. For all of us, it's community. If you are going to experience 2020 again in 2021 times 10, you are going to struggle doing it on your own. If you are operating a business, an enterprise, whatever you're doing, even if you lose your job, surround yourself with ride or die tribe today, please. Because you cannot do this alone. We're not meant to do this alone. This craziness that's happening in the world, we're not meant to do it alone. We're meant to actually hold each other as a tribe. So whatever resistances that you have, lean into de-armoring those resistances so you can hold and receive by a collective. And if you feel like right now that you don't have people in your life that you can trust, you best be really seeking, intentionally seeking communities in which you feel like you can trust, the ones that your soul is pulling you towards. The one your soul is pulling you towards. Connect deeply into what is pulling you. Because that's what we've had to do. And this is what, this last, this last few months has been incredible because of the fact that we have done that, right? Mm. And really, sisterhood has been Girl, a high I feel value. like I just live in my genius now. I'm mm. just, you know, being able to collaborate with my tribe. The, you know, my three most closest people is what I'm creating with right now. And it's enabled me to actually live in my body. Like, just be in my body. That's it. Like, and live in this space of um, complete trust and the magic, guys. When all, if you're on this page, you know that there's magic. You're here for a reading. You know that there's something, a higher consciousness that desires to deliver something to you. What if you knew that it was in your body? What if you knew your spirit was connected to that? What if you knew that so was your vision, so was your co-creation, so was your ability to be able to open, expand, be prosperous, create this reality, right? Like the higher consciousness that you are desiring to have a reading from also exa exists in your body. Mm. So imagine, imagine if we actually surrounded ourselves with people and, and started to lean into events like Rapture and Awaken, which we're gonna tell you about, but start to lean into the stuff that's actually taking you inside yourself to be able to access so that you're so sovereign in this reality that you could collaborate and live in your genius. You're not here to live outside of yourself. You're not here to be outside of yourself. You're not here to pretend to be something that you're not. You're not. Like, your fullest expression is welcome in this reality now. There's been lifetimes for women that, yeah, they were, they were murdered for, for being connected to their wisdom. But we're not now. You know, we're not. You're like, being called forward wisdom, into your wisdom. Yeah, wis and wisdom is like, there's science based around wisdom now. Like it's not even, to me, yes, it's spiritual and it's also, and it's neurological. we also get to like normalize it and mm. say, okay, cool. So if I was completely sovereign, scientifically, spiritually, you know, embodied, like what, what, would, what would my life look like? If I truly could live in my genius, in my spirit, in my soul, in my magic, if I stopped denying that actually I'm created for magic, therefore I still am, and I started to own that part, what could I magnetize? What could I have? If I stopped playing in the money stories, if I knew that money was energy, but I actually embodied that, what could I change? How much are we actually existing still in a paradigm of logic mm. where we know in the messages we speak, the quotes that we share, that it comes from source, mm -hmm. right? So like co collaboration allows us to actually exist in our genius. And that means in co-creation with the wisdom and actually landing it mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. We're all a different piece. Mm. Jax is in every way, I'm sure, star sign, bloody um, human design, astrology, like I'm sure every piece, Jax is completely different to me. You know, and that's why we just fit so well. I'm an alien. Yeah, me too. Totally but alien. just like different. Very you different. Know? <laughs> yeah. And it's perfect. And it has to be different. Mm -hmm. It gets to be different. And it gets to be the same. It just gets to be. But we just have to be the beacons and the conduits of surrender and trust and surrender and trust and keeping the vision of the greater good 
as as the goal, like as the the, the pillar in which you you create from and to. Hey, Jason. Jason. Hey, Jace. <laughs> Jace is the best. Seriously. I love Jace. Yeah. <laughs> You're just always there for us, Jace. We love you. Yeah. So awesome. So tell us, ladies. Now we're going to. I'm going to flip flip the switch on this conversation Where are you right from? now. <laughs> Where are you from? Tell us where you're from. No. Um, so tell us, ladies, this is for you, like really, 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 really speaking into you right now. So women, I'm going to ask you how to rate yourself out of one to ten, how clear you feel in the alignment you are with your soul, felt soul purpose. How clear do you feel in alignment to your soul purpose? Mm. One out of ten. One being the least, ten out of being like spot on, ready to go. Mm. Spot ten on, being ready to like, go. I not only know, but I channel the direction. Yeah, I, and I'm actually living it. I'm living it. It is what I do. It is how I generate my, my living. To who I am. To who I speak to. If you are generating your living... Through at being your sole purpose, you made it. That is fulfillment. That is success. Fulfillment and it's success. It's like being being paid to be two, it. seven, dial six. Beautiful. Thank you as well also for sharing with us. This is perfect. OG six out of ten. Perfect. Keep going, guys. All What's of us missing? share it. And so knowing us, there's no judgment. Share no judgment whatever at number. All. Those of us that are sharing, why do you think that is? What is missing? What do you feel is missing? Mm. I'm a two. My body and me are not oh, friends. Friend. Oh, mm, I have my ticket. Yeah, you. Angela's coming. coming. Angel, yes. Yeah, she's got a Amazing. And as four, seven, eight. Share with us why. What is it? It's so bloody close, but I feel it. It is a disconnect to what it is and when. Mm. Yes, disconnect to what it is and when. So you're disconnected from trust. Yes? Disconnected to what it is and when is actually because you're disconnected from trust. Share. I have no idea. <laughs> Shares no everyone. Idea. I love you, guy. I love you. I have no idea. I have no idea. I have no idea. Yeah, you, no do, idea. you do have an idea. Mm. You do. And, you know, Julie, I believe that your the space of block that you're feeling is your inability to be able to own your own confidence and your own knowing. Mm. There's been something that's happened to you that's been, that's, that's, um, that's disabled you from your own knowing, mm. right? So the minute you can actually lean into that space, and I don't know if that same story rolls out, where it's like I'm not smart enough, I'm not, mm. I'm not pretty enough, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not good enough. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not capable. I can't do it. Like yeah. lean into that because that same place is keeping you from an inability Julie. to be able to know yourself. Where are you, Julie? Where, where mm. are you? What location? Where are you located? We got um, you, girl. We got you. Community as well, Julie. That's what's coming up um, right now. I feel like there is this... I feel like you're a very giving person. And I feel like that you're very... Um, please, like, f you know, forget... Like, if, if this is not correct, let me know. But I feel like you give a lot, and especially to family. Like, are you a very family woman? Like, very family, family, family. Like, you are so loving. Mm. I'll just... I'll let let you answer that. Um, mm. Oh God, Dr. too Yeah. What was the credit? What was that? Well, here we go. Connecting, Connecting to more like mind. mind. I can be a bit of a lone, mm. lone Scorpio. I got that. Yeah, I, I have that template. That. Yeah. I'm I know trying. my purpose is out there. You are your purpose. I'm trying to soul search it. You are your purpose. You are your soul search. You are your purpose. Your well being is your purpose. You knowing and and prioritizing your well being as your purpose will then lay out your next steps. Mm which will not be your purpose because you are your purpose. Your fulfillment is your purpose. And I feel like, you know, in that, you're actually seeking a passion, a connected to your passion in the direction you're going to take. You're not seeking to know your purpose. You are the purpose. You're seeking the why behind, behind your reality. So the way that you come through that, sister, is by actually asking yourself why. If you want to serve, if you want to actually create a business from, you know, your own, why? Why do I want to do this? Why do I want to impact? Why do I want to create change? Why do I want the relationship? Why do I want to to be confident in myself? Like asking the why actually connects you to your heart, right? Allows you to actually be in the space of 
yes. of your reality allows you to actually be in the experience of what you're ready for. Unless you, like when we're, when we're seeking our purpose, we're actually seeking a connection to passion in our reality of the direction we want it to take. Mm. We're never seeking purpose, we're seeking passion. Yeah? So ask, ask, she's horrendous with this phone. <laughs> ask why. Not not what, why. Mm, yeah? yeah, why. Yeah. It's not what, it's why. And we've been lost from that because we've been numbed. We've been numbed from the heart. The heart is the passion. The passion is the direction. Yeah? Mm. Mm, yum. So Julie yeah. um, is the family mother. Is the is the I, I felt that you're very giving in your family, and um, so your worth is directly connected to how much you serve your children and your family, which is not actually uncommon. It's not uncommon, but you also get to know that they love you, and regardless of what you choose, that your your worth is not connected to their well being. Mm. Yeah, their well-being, and I want you to, I want you, Julie. This is coming through for you. Is that they are sovereign beings, and the more that you take away, or the more that you give, thinking that they can't do without you, you're disabling them from actually standing on their in their own sovereignty. You're enabling them to continue to um, be held and disabling their own uh, abilities to actually stand in their sovereignty. Mm -hmm. So it's not a bad thing, but I just want you to know that there is a cause and effect to everything, which means that uh, by you having that um, story, that narrative, that if you don't do it, they can't, you're disabling their sovereign journey in a way, whereas you can also choose enabling their sovereign journey by actually saying, yo, you got this. Because I am going to follow my sovereign journey and I'm going to do some things that I've been wanting to do for a while. I've been wanting to learn for a while. And for you, Julie, it could be just one thing. It could be one thing that you've denied yourself in the last 20 years. The one thing, just choose one thing that you've mm. denied yourself in one in 20 years, the choosing of that one thing is gonna open up so many things, which therefore will allow you to develop that relationship of trust within yourself again, but you must make that decision, mm. the sovereign decision to enable your loved ones to be in their mm. sovereignty, in their strength, to know their power, because every time you serve in from coming from the, um, perception and the narrative that they aren't going to be able to do it without you you are also disabling their power their power this goes for everyone else who is also the um has that martyrdom blueprint yeah the martyrdom yeah that that is a conditioned blueprint which is like i've got to help them if i don't help them um this 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 is going to happen and then they're going to be like we, we're trying to um, we're trying to take another's journey. Yeah, and stop people from experiencing pain, which therefore also stops them from experiencing their own power. But we actually, the martyrdom blueprint gets to die. It gets to dissolve, where you get to actually hold space, lovingly hold space, know that they're they're actually okay. Let them know that you've got their backs, but not intervene in their journey. Mm. We need to stop intervening in someone's journey to their power. Mm. Yeah? Listen, and I think like the biggest piece in that, guys, is that cool? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I think like, you know, when we take another's journey, we take another's wisdom mm. and our inability totally. to actually allow someone to live out. And you know, this comes from, from me, guys, a lot of compassion. You know, I've had a brother I grew up with addiction and I lived with him and I still do and he's been in and out of jail in and out of rehab and the learnings and the teachings he's been able to give me by actually separating myself from him in allowing myself to have let him have his own journey not asking him to change not trying to make it different but allowing myself to see what is within me that this is showing me how is this actually desiring of me to be deeper love how am I letting go of my judgment so actually when we see another have their experience, it's a reflection within us that is allowing us to actually see them without separation. Right? So, mm, yum. Yeah. Yes, yeah, 
Yes, people. Julie, they love you so much. You must know that. They love, they adore you so much and they, they are so loving and they want you to enjoy yourself. They want you so much to really follow, like to, um, to follow your soul purpose and, and what really pulls you. But yeah, sorry, I interrupted. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, I think like the deepest thing is what I see in humanity right now is that so many are so lost because they're not asking themselves the right questions. Mm. You know, one thing I'm a real stand for is the fact that it's bullshit to think we ever don't know something. Like I, I honestly will call it straight. It's yeah. absolute bullshit. Yeah, yeah. We're in so a way, in a way of guidance, in a way of our direction, in a way of how to actually achieve something. How to actually experience something, how to actually speak something, you know, and it's a real shadow to think that we need something outside of ourselves to actually create the reality we desire. And that's mm -hmm. the one distortion that is keeping us from our spirit. Mm -hmm. Right? Because yeah. it's manipulation. Yeah. And what, yeah. what we what we what we yeah, what, you feel lost, sister. Choose the you one feel thing, Julie. Lost, but are you? Yeah. Are you? My question is, are you lost or do you feel lost? And to think that I am lost is to think that I'm not here. But I am, so I'm not lost. I'm just, mm -hmm. I just need to see what is in this moment for me. See what decision I desire to make in this moment. See what is available to me. See what I desire. Ask myself what I desire in this moment. If I'm lost, what do I want? Okay, I want love, I want fulfillment, I want prosperity, I want money, I want collaboration, I want tribe, I want medicine, I want gift. Okay, in that space, in that space, okay, I'm lost, I want this, now in this, what direction, what things do I have in my reality right now that I could say no to, that actually weren't that? And then how can I open myself to, up to co-creation, to God, to, to Allah, to whoever you, you feel, or tribe, or connection, or whatever, to actually allow yourself to receive, because you are a woman, you are magnetism, right? And that's something we need to turn on, is that we're in co-creation in this existence, and what we need to do is move stuff out of the path, so we can allow ourselves to actually be, be magnetized to what we desire by taking the aligned action. Mm. So we're not lost, we're never lost. It's what do I desire? What not do you desire? How do I find myself? Yes. I am never without yes. myself. You know? Yes. So it's like going like being that much of a pillar for ourselves, being like, it's an illusion to think that I am ever lost. If I feel lost and I desire to be found, it's okay to want to stay there if you do for a while. Like that's not a wrong thing. Yeah. But it's like if I desire to shift. What questions am I, am I asking myself? Because mm -hmm. if I ask myself the questions that are keeping me lost, I'm not going to be found. Mm -hmm. So Julie, the, yes, one, the one thing that's possible. really, really um, of here is like, choose the one thing. Sure. Is there something that you have never given yourself an opportunity to learn? Uh, to, to go and do it. If it's get, to play guitar, whether it's to do um, hula hooping or whatever it is that you've been desiring to learn that you have said no to because of, of, of your service, you get to say yes now. So if that's going to be a step for you forward. Also, I want to speak into the question, is it okay to not know? Of course, but in the thinking that you don't know means that you're not, that, that you're trying to know something that you don't know when you're actually taking your attention away from things that you do know. You do know what you love. You do know what you want because you do know what you don't want. So what you don't want, the opposite of that is what you want. Yeah? The opposite of what you don't want is what you want. So the things that we're trying to think, what is my purpose? What am I here to do? I want to share with you that what I, that what I wanted to do four years ago is not the same as what I want to do now. But what, I did, what I've done is prioritize my well-being, prioritize my, um, my, my senses and, and how sovereignty. I op the sovereignty, how I operate. And in that, in the in the prioritizing of that, everything else starts to, I, I need someone else. Clean, Clean up, up my own six. six. Yes. <laughs> I love it. I know you are the best. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly. Yes. Guys, so just know, Jax and I are pretty badass when it comes to sovereignty and empowerment. You know, and it's so with love. But... I'll never sit in front of someone and not tell them the truth of what I know they can achieve or who they actually are mm -hmm. from my perspective. Well, same with Jax. You know, so we do give it quite solid, but that's because you, we are. We are speaking to you. Mm -hmm. You know, it's because from a spiritual level, we know what's existing on the 3D, the manipulation consciousness, what you guys have endured. Slavery to, consciousness. The slavery consciousness. Yes. We know what you've endured. So we're speaking you out of it. Yeah. You know, we, yeah. we truly are. 
you don't ever not know the things you don't want to know you don't need to know mm. yeah it's okay to receive from a sovereign space yeah and be held of course to be to be guided but we're talking about the vibration of where we exist in what part of are we in the body right are we coming from the mind are we seeking it or are we allowing it they're two different vibrations we're calling forward the collaboration of course mm -hmm. but from the vibration of sovereignty and deep knowing mm -hmm. inside of ourselves that we are not a part of slavery consciousness that we are not a part of manipulation that we're here to actually live in magic mm. yeah we are we what are. do you feel on so that so who, who's coming to rapture i know there's a few of our sisters on here which i'm really excited to serve who's coming to rapture and awaken <laughs> you guys <laughs> Good. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be, like, it's it's going to be next level. That last rapture and awaken that we did, and this is an all women's experience for our sisters. It's like, okay, all right. So I challenge anyone who was at the last uh, rapture and awaken to actually put into words what that was for you, because what this was, well, basically what it is intentionally for me is literally every single woman in that room walks out knowing, knowing, just knowing, mm. just knowing knowing that you don't need to know your purpose to live you the fullness of your life the knowing that you can be alive and feel alive in every single moment without knowing your purpose and knowing that your purpose is you and in your knowing yeah it's a deep day of, it's, of it's, like mystic it's mystic <laughs> it's it's wild it's somatic it's it's what do you say? unorthodox that, it is unorthodox it is it is <laughs> It is, it's for our it's for our rebels, it's for our misfits, it's the ones that don't feel like they fit into their life. It's misguided mm. and misdirected in your turned identity. Off. Yeah, you, that you feel turned off in life, underwhelmed, confused. It's for, for those of you that are like, I, I have learned all of these things, mm. but I still can't figure it out. It's because you're not meant to figure it out, you're meant to feel it. Mm. Yeah, we activate the feeling. We activate the feeling. We channel it in. We bring it into the space. It's more. There's just words that you can't even like. It's 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 transformative. It's memorable. It's lineage shifting. We actually sever cords from your lineage that no longer need to exist in this lifetime. Slavery consciousness. Slavery codes. The I can't. The I'm stuck, the I don't know, we sever all of that in this one experience. So if you're watching from, actually share it. If you are coming, we know some of you are coming, please share it. Please share this this now. Or send a link. Send a link to who you want there. This is our last link. one, guys. Yeah, it is our last one. Literally. It's our last one. Oh, For the, and I know the last one that we did, there have been so many people that missed out because they waited last minute. They waited mm -hmm. last minute and actually it was a couple of weeks out that it was mm -hmm. completely sold out. And so we had people on a waiting list that just totally missed out. So they were the first ones to buy tickets this time, mm -hmm. right? But the reason why it's our last one is because we're changing. We're literally shifting in the energetics. We want to have babies. Yeah. <laughs> That's just it. We want to have babies next yeah. year. So yeah. we're going to change, you know? Yeah. What we bring is going to change. Haley, it's smashed through generational stuff for my daughters and I. Yeah. Actually, Haley brought two of her daughters along. So if you're that coming so along beautiful. and you know any teenager or any young woman that needs this, I want, I'm going to invite you to start really thinking about women in your life, not just you, but the women in your life that you want, you desire deep sisterhood with. That yeah. sisterhood relationship. This is where sisterhood comes us choosing this kind of work this kind of experience is really la laying down foundations for deep relationships mm. between sisters mm. in that space everyone walks away a sister right there's 100%. like that deep delicious connection in that room mm -hmm. as well as massive awakening as well mm -hmm. so hey b are, are you coming yeah. Do it for your country. country. Exactly. Jason, Jason, put a wig on and come along. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I got to see him on, he gave on to the Visionary Vault the other oh night. He was God. on video. It was so nice to see him. That's so him. cool. Love, love, love. Amazing. Yes. So please, if you are witnessing and watching this and you're like, we need to please invite your sister. Come along. Brisbane, Gold Coast, Sunshine Coast. We had people. It's time to boogie. Yeah, we had people coming down. Actually, we've got people coming down from North Queensland, over the border. 
It's more, it's going to be one epic experience, and you're not going to get anything like it. Mm, yeah. there's, actually, there's nothing like it. There is nothing like it. This is not like any other <laughs> fishnets and heels, Lippy. Yeah, you have, have to wear red though. It's a red. You gotta wear red. It's red. First. All of our all of our women, all of our sisters wear red. Uh, we're going to be honoring deep feminine in this space. It's going to be incredible. We do lots of channeling. We do lots of channeling. If you've heard it, if you've heard Jack's of Carly, goes full alien. she goes full Carly. It's next level. Seriously, she goes full the alien. Room, the room vibrates. The lights go wild. It's just the energy in that space is incredible. Yeah. So we're evoking you right now before we jump off. I mm. think we should do a live on my Facebook. Mm. Um, to grab your ticket if you desire to be there to like fully come to receive to allow yourself if you're in Queensland. Get a ticket if you're actually a woman that's ready to be a magnetic woman. Like if you're actually re ready to embody your feminine and fully from aisle medicine. Oh, yeah. Haley wants to gift a ticket. Oh, we love you. Oh, oh babe, you're so amazing. Isn't she? Just Honestly, one of the best, most beautiful humans ever. Couldn't hear properly. Yes. yes, come, come along, back. Yes, please. Babe, oh my you god. Should come. Please, please come. Please, please yeah. come, Ruby. I like I love We're gonna have you. Carly and the aliens there. And it's Carly it. Angels, uh, Aliens Light Language, all of the things. It's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. But it's like for me what I experienced, right? Because it's just as much for us, the last drive to an awaken. I was just like, whoa. It was like this portal that existed. And it's it's different for all of us separately to be in our mystic, right? Or wanna be or start to tap into our energy or our spirit or our guides or you know, channeling, whatever it is, right? Or even our feminine energy or our sisterhood. It's one thing to like do that, but when you're in a, a room of a hundred women doing that together, there's, there's something that words can never decipher, what you see, what you experience, what you what you actually become. Where it's it a goal post, right? So like for me, I walked away and was like, it was like this deep remembrance of it being time, you know, for us to do it together. For like, you know, Jax and I being full permission for what we can facilitate now at a Gold Coast function center. You know, like what, for me, I was like, damn, like we're going there guys. And it's time. It's time that we stop seeking the magic and we start, we start facilitating it. Yeah. And it's not a show. No. I just really want to land that. It's not a show. We don't it's like it. It's, it's such a deep, reverent journey mm. into yourself and and you experience parts of yourself that you thought had been left behind in lifetimes ago the mm. the version of you that is the lioness you know this that's what i feel like is missing in especially with our sisters is that we are lions we are lionesses we are warriors we are the amazonians there has not been one life that you've lived that you have not been that i believe that I believe that down to my core. And this is what we're here to do in this lifetime is to activate the memory of that within you, not tell you that that's what you are and that's who you are, but you actually remembering it deeply. So in the case of you remembering it, you can't not be it in everything that you do, mm -hmm. create, dream and speak in your lifetime, in the lifetime that follows, the lifetime as the ancestors mm. of this time. It's, Women, it's time to stand. It's time to remember who you are. Mm. And when you turn on that level of wisdom, you no longer seek your beliefs. It's just you there. Live, you live with your embodiment of yeah. what you're actually capable of. Your ability to be able to actually create life is your ability to be able to create anything. You are here to actually birth the reality mm -hmm. through yourself. Mm -hmm. You're not here to seek it. You're not here to feel lost. You're not here to feel disconnected. You're not here to feel distorted. You're actually, you're, you're connected with mother herself. You are the mother herself. You birth. Yes, yeah? so when we come to the space inside of ourselves, our mystic, our wisdom, our sovereignty, our ability to actually allow through our bodies, knowing every single moment, yeah, knowing every single moment, there is nothing that we do not have to be able to be capable to achieve the things that we desire. That's what we're here for, is to support the feminine, not just to like, and that's in our way, right? Like our way is a way that, you know, isn't necessarily another's way. So if you feel the pull, you might feel these experiences in yourself. You might have some sort of, you know, connection in that way, but have you experienced Emma and Jack's channel? No. Yeah. 
That's so it. calm. We want you. We love you. You know, this is going to be the last one. And it gets to be... We're all in this together. I'm so passionate about divinity inside a woman's body. You know, the, pla the place that so many take plant medicine to activate. We actually mm. have within us. We do. And that level of wisdom desires to guide us, desires to heal us, desires to speak to us, desires to create with us. Yeah? And so it's in these portals that we get to create together in our different mm. medicines that you guys actually get to be a stand for that. We you want know? you to remember who you are. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Your divine wisdom. It's not like just words anymore. It's not just like, I am the universe. You are the universe. No, it's not a matter of just like, I am the universe. We are one. We are the universe. You are the universe. Mm -hmm. That's what we want you to deeply remember from yourselves. Who am I? Oh, she's, she's taking, taking a photo or something. I was doing a story. <laughs> I was doing a story. <laughs> Anyways, I think that's us yeah. for tonight. We are so grateful to you. Thank you so much. And thank you for holding space for us. Mm. Yeah, because it, it was just interesting. The beginning of, of this was just like, hmm, interesting. And I love it. And I'm so grateful to all of you, for all of you that tuned in, stayed on. And we hope that you've extracted from this what you've needed mm -hmm. tonight, for, the, for tomorrow, for the next day, because that's what we're here for. And uh, we are super excited to join you again. And um, and next time we'll do some readings. <laughs> well, yeah. we did a little bit tonight. Julie, please, thank you so much. Please go and choose something that you, that one step, the next step for you is to go and choose something that you've always wanted to learn, mm -hmm. that you have said no to before. But now, where the Gold Coast, Zulu, is it Zuli? Yeah, Gold We're Coast. We're down to the Gold Coast. We're down to the Gold, Gold Coast. Coast. Gold Come. Coast. Come. We'd Queensland, love to have you there. Brisbane, Brisbane, Gold Coast, Sunshine Coast. Um, but Julie, please go in tonight, like now. Don't let this be something that you sit on for a little while because you've probably been asking the same questions for the last few years of like, what am I here to do? You are here to enjoy you. You are here to enjoy your ability to learn new skills. You are here to grow. You are here to learn. That is your purpose. In that, the ripple effect of you being in the joy of yourself causes the ripple of joy for your entire family. I'm going to go pee. Thanks, Anna. Love you guys. So, and uh, Julie, keep us updated, please. Uh, let us know. Isn't she wise? Isn't she amazing? <laughs> let us, incredible. Let us know how you are. Um, I don't know how she's... Uh, we didn't put our details on here. No. Next, next week. We'll You'll be find, here. yeah. We'll be here next week. Let us know how you go. Please let us know that you've booked something that you're going to educate and learn and enjoy yourself. We'll see you next week. Love you guys. Bye.